in five, four, three, two, one. Hey, hey, it's now time for another quick hit here on The Last Comic Shop, a video unboxing for all of our fans. You see, we're in different parts of the world here. Andy Larson, Chad Smith, we're here in the United States, but J.A. Scott, our co-host, is in the Philippines. So when it comes to Christmas time, sometimes stuff doesn't get where it's supposed to as fast as we'd want. So we've actually got Christmas presents. Yay! <laughs> so in today's uh, little video here for all our fans, we're going to do some unboxing. I feel like given J.A. is the furthest away from the States, he should go first. All right. Plus the fact that he did not... <laughs> His, his box looks like it fell out of a truck. It did. Thank you, Amazon. It's a bit of a dent. You see, I see, uh, see now, a book. I, I know, right? What kind of book do you think it is, Last Comic Shop fans? What book would J.A. Scott want? What it, kind of it's book, feeling, right? It's feeling omnibus weight. <laughs> Ooh, could, what is it? Amazing Spider-Man. Wait. David Michelini and Todd McFarlane. Right. So that is the whole original uh, run of Amazing Spider-Man, the Todd McFarlane years. Uh, knowing that you were a huge, huge fan of that growing up, right? Like that yes. was uh, that was the Spider-Man you grew up with, that and the Eric Larson, but more Todd McFarlane. And, and you even said $2.99 with the first uh, first Venom. Yes. It was one of your one of the comic books that you treasured. So I felt, let's get you the entire set. You don't have those issues anymore. So let's get it to you in an omelet. Oh, that's very awesome. Look at look at all those great. Uh, let me try to get it so you don't have so much glare there. Look at those. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, it collects uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2 296 to 329 and material from a spectacular Spider-Man annual 10. And that's not all. Go ahead and open it up, flip to the back. The Marvel Tales covers. The Marvel Tales covers, the reprint book where Todd McFarlane did the covers for 10 issues. Wow. Where you get McFarlane yeah. X-Men, classic. Wow. You get McFarlane new X-Men. Well, thank you very much. I look forward to reading this with a uh, cup of coffee or maybe a cup of something else. So Chad, would you like to go next? Sure, I'll go next. Um, well, first I should mention, I didn't know we were getting everybody presents this year. <laughs> and uh, I got a box circa the, the Philippines, which I didn't know we were doing an unboxing either. So I already opened it up. Jay sent me new cans. Yeah! Look at that! Uh, it's almost like you're a podcaster. Cans. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. And I got this other box here. So let me let me open this up. It's merch from the merch store. Yeah, the, the limited edition that's already filled up with coffee. I like it. <laughs> I like it. <sighs> yeah, that's some of those. What they always ask you when you you ship things. Does it have Does it have liquids? And because Jay lives in the Philippines, I haven't sent him his gift yet. But I told him we, we could do a pre boxing. Ah, yes. I haven't actually boxed his up yet. And also, it might take me a while to get to the post office. So here, I got my box here. And so, we know Jay loves omnibuses, so I didn't get him an omnibus. <laughs> <laughs> because I love Treasury Edition. Ah, so awesome Conan. Jay, nice. A Conan the Barbarian. And it's reminiscent of one of his favorite X-Men covers as well on the oh, back Oh, yes. There. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Wolverine Outback. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it's got some of the newspaper strip things in oh, there. Nice. So that'll well, thank you very box. much. You're welcome. Yes. And there's one more since this is coming from America and I had an extra. It's Captain America's Bicentennial Battles. Ah. While we still have an America, you can enjoy some Cap by Jack Kirby hanging out with Uncle Sam. Ah, and so very nice. learn to treasure the treasuries. Yeah, there's also a bunch of other stuff that's going to come in that box. Uh, these are uh, Last Comic Shop t-shirts that he bought. Oh, nice. <laughs> that uh, haven't been delivered because they, they just don't ship to the Philippines. But th this is yours. You you, you got this one. Uh, you also got this uh, wonderful one from Halloween. This is how far back that was. Yeah. Uh, for those people that bought our uh, Last Comic Shop 
um, Halloween uh, edition. Uh, also, uh, here's some other things for you that'll be coming in your box. This used to belong to you. This is uh, ah, right. <laughs> my Joker. <laughs> This I'm is not sure for that. That's too heavy. <laughs> That's pick up on delivery. <laughs> <laughs> One other thing here, uh, which is uh, a copy of Asterius Pollock, uh, which I yeah, picked okay. up for you. Uh, great uh, book by Dave Malicicelli. Uh Chad uh, clued me into this book several years ago. Uh, again, I would put this up there with things like my favorite thing is monsters and mouse in terms of just an artistic uh one of the, just an artistic book, you know, like a, a, a serious one, a, a, a one that, I don't know. Chad, how, how would you describe it? Well, I'm not lying. There are one or two pages in there that have literally changed the way I see the world. I think of them every year, at least once or twice a year. It's beautiful. It's it's beautiful and it's tragic and it's just, it's great stuff. You have to, have to read it. Right. So maybe a potential other read pile eventually when we get this to you. Oh, but in any case, that's what's going to be in a, in a box, I guess. Maybe not the same box as Chad, but we wanted to show that stuff uh, for this video. <laughs> now it's time for the final, for the finale. The host of the most is going to open his box. Now, again, this comes from J.A. Scott. I, I did get uh, a treasury edition from Chad, but it's way over there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to get up out of my chair. Uh, no, this comes from uh, InStockTrades.com. Great place for you to pick up some... Uh, you know, discount comic books. They always got wonderful deals over there on omnibuses and, and trades and things like that. So, and, and, and it comes, they always come oh, wow. very well, very well protected. So in any case, uh, wow, this is a heavy book. Let's see what I got here. Uh, so I can't see the cover because it's got a thing on it. <laughs> But I think I know what it is based on the back that says the dawn of the Marvel multiverse. I wonder, I wonder. We also already know because of the side. Yeah, <laughs> we, saw, we saw the spine. Oh, come on, don't give it away, folks. It's the suspense, it's killing them. It is, ah, what if? The original Marvel series, and this is the version with the uh, um, Marvel bullpen as the Fantastic Four. <laughs> it's yeah. one of Chad's favorite <laughs> what ifs. There you go. Just simply because of the stash on <laughs> Reed Richards here. <laughs> That's right. The Stan '70s stash. And you can see you the the Jack Kirby as the thing here. And who's this? So Marie Severin is she supposed to be the? The Sue Storm? Or is it Flo? Flo Steinberg. It might be Flo. It might be Flo Steinberg. Uh, wonder who the, what's, who's the Human Torch supposed to be? I, I forget in this one. Is that? Uh, this is the original, this is all uh, the first uh, 22 issues of What If. Missing issue 16, though. I think maybe they had some, some. In any case, that's all the time for this unboxing here in the last comic shop. Make sure that you tune in to our Twitter page for more videos in future, as well as our YouTube channel where you found this, uh, as well as our podcast over at www.lastcomicshoppodcast.com. Every week, more comic book reviews for you in 2022.